so YouTube, you know, I don't do a whole lot of glaze stuff on YouTube or anything. But when I was at Inseca, and before I left for Inseca, I had done a bunch of test tiles. I've been doing test tiles for the last 15 years um, for this particular glaze. And uh, <laughs> I did a firing um, that day before in Sika, and it turned off, and I went to bed and woke up and went right to Nsika, and I've forgotten <coughs> all about it. And um, came back to the studio, um, got home, came came in this morning, and was working on stuff and saw the uh, controller blinking complete, and I remembered, oh my God, I had stuff in the kiln and um, more test tiles. And it's not like a huge deal. You know, glaze isn't my real thing. It's not a, it's not how I make my money. My pots don't have a lot of glaze, but 15 years ago um, in the studio, we had an idea for a glaze and it wasn't an impossible thing. We knew it was possible. We'd seen little hints of it. And um, we'd actually heard a story about that glaze in particular. So when I opened up the kiln, and saw the exact thing, um, well, didn't really see it. I mean, it was, it was the, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, but it was just on test tiles. And uh, in haste of unloading and everything, and I cleared the program. I know the program, I mean, it's written down, but I didn't actually get to see what it fired to exactly. So I've got it loaded again, program set again, new set of witness cones, and newly glazed pots and I am losing my crap um, this is it this is like 15 years in the making to get to this point and um yeah this is this <laughs> this is it ah, this is so exciting <laughs> like that's and then That's it. Uh, the program, the program is a uh, a really slow firing, and it has to to get to get one of the components to do its thing, and that was the magic. That's what I mean. If we didn't fire, uh, anywho, I'll be back. I'll be right back, because I'm gonna cut to when I open it. I lied. <laughs> I've got one last part, like all of the tests. I don't, can, I cannot tell you how many test tiles I've made. 10,000? When I do them, I do them in a batch of 1,000, and I've done a new batch every year, trying, well, more, more than 10,000 test tiles to get this glaze. Um, and I've, we've tried everything, every component we can get, and uh, yeah, it's down to like the last, the last bit. It's, I, I can't, I am, it's incredible. So the kiln is getting close to top temperature and it is hot in here. <laughs> I don't think it's ever been this hot. <coughs> the kiln sounds funny, but it's going, shit. <laughs> oh, I should put the mask on before. I gotta put the mask on. I'm gonna look in there, shit. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I gotta beep. That was hot. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh. It's cool enough. It's cool enough now I can get into it. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Um, so 15 years ago, somebody came into Clayscapes and asked, um, why the clear glaze they put on their piece didn't work. And we looked at her and she had this white piece in front of her and she said, I put clear glaze on it, why isn't it clear? And that was the dream, that's what sparked all of this. And uh, we've worked now for 15 years, not straight, but for a long time. And uh, we finally have, <laughs> we finally have clear glaze. Oh, that makes the pots. I don't wanna, are they still hot? Uh, that's that's still warm. I don't want to use gloves though. Got it on the side. Come on. 
table. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> oh, I don't want to hit them against each other. Can you see that? Well, no, but in person you can s it moves. You can see the little wiggle of the light around it. It's not picking it up on the camera. Oh, I hope the ones at the bottom came out this awesome. Oh my god. They're hard. No, I think you can kind of see it. You can kind of see the edge. Oh. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's all of them. Perfect cones. And then we got stuff on the second shelf here. Oh, shit. There was still one on the freaking shelf. Man. That's going to be a pain in the ass to clean up. I can't see anything. Oh, shit. Bottom shelf looks just as good. Well, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post the recipe because I think if I don't, nobody would believe it if they don't do it in their own studio. And uh, happy April Fool's Day.